Saudi Arabia's first female director, Haifa Al-Mansour, has made her debut at the Venice Film Festival. She explores the limitations placed on women in the conservative Islamic Republic through the tale of a strong-willed 10-year-old girl. The film Rajda, which the director says is the first to have been entirely shot in Saudi Arabia, follows the everyday life of the girl as she attempts to circumvent restrictions and break social barriers. When she sees a bicycle for sale that would allow her to race against her male friends, she concocts a plan to raise the money to buy it in spite of her mother's opposition. Respectable girls don't cycle in Saudi Arabia. The situation for women in Saudi Arabia is very difficult and the, sun, the country is very conservative and denies women a lot of things. But still, there is lots of... Um, uh, it is not for me to make, making a film. It's not like saying, wow, it's really dark, it's really difficult, it's really things. I wanted to make a film like to say, yes, it's difficult and everything, but we need to fight. That's it. Al Mansour uh, spoke of the difficulty she faced the filming the in Riyadh, despite having permission from the authorities to do so. We did it within the system. It's not like we are, it wasn't like a guerrilla style shooting or anything, but still, people are very uh, conservative. People don't like cameras in their neighborhoods. Sometimes we will be shooting in the middle of the scene, someone will come and interrupt and they want to take the camera and stuff. Being in Saudi Arabia, you don't go to the streets very often as a woman. You have a driver take you everywhere. So for me, the knowledge of the streets was something I learned also during that film because I'm not allowed to be there. Twelve-year-old Wad Mohammed, who in the film plays Vajda, said she found her character very realistic. I like doing simple things, she said. In fact, the character in the film is very similar to me. I like bicycles, I like playing football, and things like that. I really enjoyed that. She doesn't speak English, she never had access to anything, but she loves Justin Bieber. <laughs> and she, she, she knows Selena Gomez, and they are part of this, of a bigger world. We cannot, Saudi, is, as much as it's closed, they cannot, the, the younger generation is totally different. And they will, I, we hope that they see themselves as part of a bigger world and they try to open up the country even more. Tabina. Al Mansour said her young star epitomized the change in Saudi Arabia. Under King Abdullah, the Saudi yeah, government has pushed for women to have better education and work opportunities, but the film may have a limited audience in her own country, where cinemas are still illegal.